Hello my friends, thank you for joining me here at Evolutionary Energy Arts once again. So we have this out of the Daily Star and it's in a couple other locations as well and you can actually go to Dr. Claudia Albers YouTube channel as well which I have listened to her um, being actually recommended to listen to her from several of my subscribers. She says the sun is being eaten by alien objects. That's a pretty shocking claim. So the sun is being eaten by an alien cluster of stars, which can be seen through a NASA telescope. And again, this is Dr. Claudia Albers. And she says, a system of old dying stars have entered the solar system and are feeding on the sun. Sounds like pretty vampiric. And this is physicist Dr. Claudia Albers. NASA must allow public live access to cameras trained on the sun to witness it. Dr. Albers' theory is based on circular shapes seen in close-up images of the star's halo, she said. It was, you know, that's so interesting. Let me just stop right here for a second just to tell you guys. I was coming back from the other side of um, Florida, and me and a friend were driving in a convertible, and we could watch the sun going down. And I told her, I said, take some photos of it. Please take some photos. And so she took some photos. And it was so weird because we're looking at it and we're seeing one thing. And the photos are showing something totally different. The, show, the photos didn't even look like we're, you know, pick, fixated on the same object. It was so different. It was so weird. We couldn't get a really good shot of it. But yet, with our naked eye, the sun was particularly large extremely red and we could just stare at it you know blatantly as it was going and uh, you know close to setting and we could see kind of this halo that was all around it the halo came out a little bit in some of the photos um, I'll, I'll see about posting some of these photos as well I've been taking photos every day of the Sun every single day and there's definitely some weird anomalies that pop up in the photos that I don't know what to make of them but anyway that's an aside to this but there's definitely something major going on with the Sun now I, I don't know if it is uh, being sucked of its life of its plasma by other objects or not but this is what Dr. Albers is claiming and so she's made a plea to NASA to allow unrestricted access to the live stream of the Soho camera and uh, you know, many of you have brought this up too. Many of the subscribers have been mentioning her and this this fact, or potential fact. What do you guys think about this? Uh, she says, if there's nothing to hide, then give us a real-time view of the sun. If there's nothing to hide, then open it up. Why do you only give us little snippets with a huge delay? In a YouTube video with fellow researcher Scott Sion, she adds, they are old or dead stars. I never said they were planets. They are stars draining the sun of energy. It's likely a huge system of old dead suns that have come to the sun and have been affecting it. And they are making the plasma connections with the sun and are making the sun go dark and the sun is getting weaker. Dr. Albers has written a number of books on the subjects, including Planet X, The Awakening Now. So... It's interesting because I have seen, God, going back a long time ago, um, I remember seeing this, these circular objects, and then there's plasma filament from the sun to the objects. And it is as if they're leeches that have latched onto the sun and are sucking the, the life force straight out of it. And, you know, it does tie in with some of these prophecies. And one of the ones that keeps coming back ever since I did that... Um, video that was talking about the Hopi prophecies is Blue Kachina, Red Kachina, and I'm probably going to do another one a little more in depth on the two Kachinas. And, um, and it ties into, geez, just about everything. You could, you could find references to it in the Bible and Revelations and in, in many other places too. So it really feels like a lot of these things are tying together. 
So Dr. Albers is part of the Planet X or Nibiru believer movement, but she has her own unusual take on what Planet X is. Most Nibiru followers believe the theory that a mini solar system consisting of a sun, planets, and moons is lurking on the edge of our solar system with a huge orbit of the sun. They are convinced that the rogue system is making its way in from the outer solar system inwards and is going to wreak havoc on the Earth. As it passes at about 4 million miles away, it will cause the poles to switch and trigger massive earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Dr. Albers does not think this is what's happening, that what is happening to our sun is connected to the original myth of Nibiru. But she said the foreign visitors to our solar system could cause seismic activity on Earth. Um, very, very interesting. These objects are causing changes in the solar system that can cause earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. She even has an unusual theory that one of the objects is now orbiting our planet and many more are, are around Jupiter. Dr. Albert says it's a huge system of stars attracted to the sun and that stays close to the sun once it's in the solar system. I recently discovered they may have gone from the sun to the planets and that might be why Jupiter went from 16 satellites to 69. It must have ca captured something. NASA scientists have previously said there is a possibility of another uh, planet at the edge of our solar system, but that theory has yet to be proven conclusively. Um, interesting, interesting thoughts. Pretty, uh, pretty creepy, scary thoughts in, in several ways. And again, I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing what you guys say about that. This is basically the same story out of Express. I'll have both links for you guys to go ahead and check it out. And she's on YouTube as Planet X Physicist. Um, she sounds very logical when I listen to her. She sounds like she has great scientific knowledge. Um, as always, use your own intuition to discern. We do know for sure that Winter Storm Toby is uh, looking pretty ominous as, you know, just one after another nor'easter uh, comes into the picture. And as the weather is obviously changing all around us getting more and more interesting by the day here's an article from AccuWeather on how massive volcanic volcano uh, volcano eruptions can alter global temperatures which for all you guys you know that's pretty obvious and we are definitely in a period of increased volcanic activity Iceland volcano eruption. Scientists make shock discovery about volcanic apocalypse. And this is interesting how they tied it into the mythology and the changing of the pagan dominated Icelandic peoples into uh, basically their conversion to Christianity and how the myth of going from the pagan gods to just one god really had a lot to do with the volcano going off so it, it's just an interesting uh, article for you guys to take a look at make your own judgments on but it's interesting how these big events affect our psyche affect our beliefs our whole belief system can change in a moment and what you're looking at now is a magnetic model that shows the area of the South Atlantic anomaly and the South Atlantic anomaly is really a key thing because that's an area where the magnetosphere is in such decline that m tremendous amounts of cosmic and solar radiation are coming through and um, definitely affecting the planet but the studies are showing that the reasons why there is that area of low magnetic power is actually because of stuff that's going on inside the earth. Uh, the, this study shows that the magnetic pole wobble has been growing for a thousand years and it's actually peaked in different waves at different time frames that coinc coincidentally coincide with many ice ages. So that's just another quote-unquote coincidence. And it's picking up now at an even faster pace. If we remember that one study that uh, I quoted in a video maybe a couple weeks back was showing how you know the sun's output now is is lower than it's been in 9300 years you have to go back to the last full-fledged ice age to find as low solar output and we're just starting this folks we're just starting to get into this 
So this, this study finds that the giant hole in the, the South Atlantic anomaly is a defensive mechanism. And it's very, very interesting. But it has to go with what's going on at the inside of the Earth. And for me personally, um, just really recently, I've become definitely a plasma believer in the plasma core. And it just seems to make perfect sense, especially when we're looking at what's happening with the North and the South Poles. Again, there are um, there's other links in some of my other videos. Like you guys, I would strongly convince, uh, urge you guys to go and check out some of those other videos um, that show these things, because it looks pretty damn obvious. You know when. When the magnetism decreases, when you have strong magnetism, you have a, a stable, solid North and South Pole. The North Pole is dominant. And as it decreases, there's like a wobbling effect. And then it actually gets to a bipolar effect where, th where there's more, uh, there's multipolar uh, effect that, that, ta that kicks in. And there's going to be many different poles popping up in various places. And if we watch what's going on with the polar vortex, and then you see a double polar vortex, then at times it looks as if there's four vortices starting to occur in the northern hemisphere. This is exactly what happens as the power decreases. And um, I will again post a link to this YouTube page that shows this experiment uh, that was done, and it, it shows exactly how this would all make absolutely perfect sense if the center of the earth is plasma and um, you know I will dig up that link and, and include it on a new uh, video come upcoming this all makes perfect perfect sense with a plasma core so it all has to do with the western edge of the African large low shear velocity province and again, these links are going to be there. So it's all to do with what's going on in the center of the Earth. These large ultra low shear velocity provinces, you know, happen to be there's two of them. And one of them is over here under Africa, heading towards South America. And then there's another one also in the Pacific. And there are just areas that could have things going on that will cause the decrease in the magnetosphere in that localized area. So again, I will put the links there for you guys to pour through and, and try to get your bearings on this and see what you think is going on. And, you know, for me personally, um, I'm really starting to believe firmer and firmer in a plasma core and also in the expanding Earth theory. And this, again, uh, gives you an idea of where the anomaly is and what's going on with it. So this is all going on with internal dynamics. And we're starting to perhaps see some of the effects that will be happening probably all over the world at some point but the point you're going to get it at first is going to be in that area between Africa and South America and we have an outage with tens of millions in northern Brazil hit with a massive power outage a power outage struck a large swath of Brazil on Wednesday affecting tens of millions of people especially in the country's northern and northeastern regions where the system remains practically collapsed so this is what we're going to be facing, my friends. We're going to be facing rolling blackouts on a regular basis as the magnetosphere declines. And it's just something we have to get ready for. So there again, as we were talking before, alternative power sources. You know, are you in a location where you could have your own solar power grid? Uh, you know, do you have to go ahead and get some gas run generators just in case? You know, make your plans you know have that perhaps that wood burning stove put in in the basement you know if you're in a really cold weather area and stock up on cords and cords of wood um, have more going on than just that you know there's so much to prepare for but be ready for power outages that will become the norm you'll just have power going out 
And, you know, maybe you'll get it back in a day or two. Maybe it'll be a week. Maybe it'll be two weeks. Maybe it'll be out for months. Um, it's one of those things where we have to prepare for a new way of life because, you know, the, the new norm is going to be very, very unpredictable. So we just have to be ready and, and do whatever we can. I understand, you know, constraints and, and financial uh, concerns. That's That's totally understandable. But just think about what can you do? What can I afford to do? What can I do? And then also, as we've been talking about, band together with people locally and, you know, think about how you guys could help each other. Get together with neighbors, you know, feel them out, see if they're receptive to talking about these things, you know, and try to band together. And perhaps, you know, the future will lead you to different areas. Perhaps you're in an area that might not be as safe as others. And so you're, you're feeling yourself being drawn to a different area. Um, there are so many of you having dreams and visions. I am getting, you know, emails pretty much every hour um, about, about dreams and visions and you all feeling exactly what I've been getting too. And, and you know, so many of us are getting these messages that it's it's time to prepare. It's time to be ready to you know, perhaps move at the drop of a hat and when some of these things are, are going on or maybe you're in a safe area. So maybe it's time for you, you know, to uh, just mention to your family and loved ones and friends, hey, you know, uh, where I am it seems pretty, pretty good. Just let you know, you know, you guys could always come and, and set camp here or, or I do know of, um, you know, some property for sale down the street you know if you are in what you feel is going to be a safe zone because a lot of places are not going to be you know very very safe and we could see that we could see the way things are going this is still just very very much the beginning and we're just starting to get into the major earth changes that have been talked about forever so you know in my mind they're 15 20 years late uh, but they are here now in my mind at the same time. So I, I do know, you know, I feel very, very certain that, yes, we are definitely in the time now that we've been expecting. So don't count on your power being there. So what's your plan if you don't have power? Are you in a zone where you have a nice temperate climate and it doesn't really matter? Or you just have to think about, you know, camping gear for cooking or perhaps you're going to go on a raw food diet, <laughs> you know, and just live off of salads and veggies and things like that. Do you have a good garden going? Are you in a zone where you could have things growing all year round? Do you have to build a greenhouse? Um, you know, is a neighbor uh, a amazing green thumb gardener? Do I have to, you know, get in touch with them and see what I could offer and uh, to help them expand their garden? You know, there's so many things we could look into. But what we really do have to do is try to band together in like-minded groups and help each other and stay informed, to reach out, have a support, a network that's going to support each other. You know, lean on each other, confide in each other, support each other. That's really what we're going to need to do now. So many people that are just going along kind of like zombies, you know, just kind of routinely going through the day not noticing anything that's happening around them you know when the shit truly hits the fan they are going to be panicking tremendously where people that uh are planner planners and you know have their eyes open and can see things that are happening they're going to be just you know going along in stride they expect it so they're fine you know but at the same time the more people that are panicking, the worse it is for everybody overall. And we see that. We see how, you know, unfortunately, some some people, when the going gets tough, really, truly, you know, they become living angels and are there picking each other up and trying to pick up everybody. And then other people go the other route and just, you know, take it as an opportunity to, to loot and to vandal and, and th do things like that and have these destructive um, habits and behaviors. So we need to cultivate within us, you know, a good plan, an energetic f peacefulness to us. So we're not going to ha fear 
you know what's coming changes that are coming we're just simply going to have a plan and go along with the plan and and listen to your intuition listen to higher guidance you know because really a lot of times we get clear messages look for synchronicities this is something i wanted to tell you guys before if you follow the synchronicities in your life it'll be amazing and one of the reasons that you'll know you're on the right path is when you have these synchronicities like for instance you know could be that you know your your refrigerator just broke and you don't have the money for a new fridge and so you know you're sending that intent out into the universe that i really need you know either the money for a new fridge or or i need to come across a new fridge and then lo and behold you know somebody buys the house down the street and they're just putting a fridge out and you know you're walking by hey hi you know how are you good yeah i'm your new neighbor oh this works by the way we just you know we just brought our own and the other people left it there you go there's a little synchronicity there's there's so many things like that that will happen for you you know you you need to move to a certain area and then all of a sudden you know you find there's there's flyers coming to you you know telling you about you know land for sale or or what have you when our eyes are open when our hearts are open we will receive the messages from above it's pretty much that simple so we need to be aware but we don't want to send out a a vibration of fear and uh, rather we want to send out one of peace and and loving and kindness and compassion and knowing just know you're going to be taken care of right it's it's even it's in the bible many many times that that you could quote countless times in the bible where it's saying you know why do you worry about your needs being provided for look at the birds you know are they loved any more than you and they are provided for so you have to just know everything is going to be okay but you have to be alert for sure and you have to have a plan and always do it with the thoughts of trying to help others because in helping others you will be helped and that is really very very true 30 treated for exposure as indonesian volcano belches flume uh, fumes so we have this is going on in indonesia and this is mount Ijen, i guess you would say Ijen, and eastern java so this is just another one there's there's so many volcanoes going off in this whole area area so this is one of the dangers of the volcanoes going off um obviously the (laughs) obviously if it's emitting and sending lava out that's dangerous but also the the toxic fumes and then also it just means more global cooling so it just adds to everything that is already in place so there is so much going on my friends stay alert stay aware Um, more videos upcoming there's so many things that I feel I need to touch on very very quickly you know get these messages out to you guys and make as many people aware as possible as always please you know subscribe if you haven't subscribed please do give a thumbs up help support the channel and support getting these messages of being prepared and awake out to the population again the more people that are awake and prepared the better it is for everybody and ultimately yes we're we're heading to what's going to become a much better planet but as we know this is the birth pains and when a woman goes into the birth and the labor process it's definitely you know it could be tense it could be scary it could be painful but ultimately the outcome is beautiful and that's ultimately what we are going to be facing as well because we're going to have a new planet and we're going to get rid of the old system we're going to have a much better system that's going to be much more beneficial to everybody and to the planet itself we have not lived in harmony with our mother earth at all and we've become a a virus and a parasite as a whole to it so these earth changes are necessary and this is part of what the earth is doing itself as the earth raises up in consciousness the human resonance is changing and the vibratory rate of the planet is changing it's elevating the consciousness of the earth is changing our consciousness is changing i'm finding as i'm having conversations with people that i 
perhaps judge them as not being very spiritual, you know, they're changing. It, and it's amazing me. I'm having conversations with people I haven't talked to in years. And it's like, who is this person? You know, I mean, they used to laugh at things that, you know, I took seriously. You used to call me a complete space cadet or, you know, your head's in the clouds. And, you know, now they're like, well, yeah, I agree. Yeah, things are really happening. And you know what? You know, I, I don't smoke anymore. And you know what? Um, you know, I'm not drinking anymore or what have you. You know, they, they've they switched and they're no longer eating meat. They've turned into vegans or vegetarians. They're all of a sudden very spiritual where they weren't spiritual at all. They used to laugh at religion and spirituality as a whole. Or they were very, very, very devoutly religious in one sense and thought that everybody else in the world was wrong. Now they view that every there is a, a true core a commonality between all faiths and none is more you know relevant or vital or true than another so i mean i've i've seen this where wow people are having complete changes in consciousness they're really waking up they're getting rid of old thought patterns you know yes there are still a lot of people that are not like that but i've seen a ton of people growing so fast evolving so fast and just you know really becoming um really blossoming and you know f having periods of growth in just like a few short years that most of the time would take decades so that's part of what's happening with all these energies that are flowing into our planet right now is it's enabling us to grow at an exponential rate so we are getting, you know, decades of growth in perhaps even just a month's time as we change, as we purge, as we let go of old fears and limited thinking, as we start to let our heart center just blossom and open up. And it's changing us from the inside. And if enough of us change from the inside like that, we could change the entire planet. And we are going to change the entire planet. For that's why we are here. And that's why you guys hear this call. And you recognize this call. Because it ver reverberates within you. And you know it's true. It's like listening to something you've heard before. But you just weren't ready for it. And now you're ready for it. So you're ready to make the change. And you're ready to do whatever you can. To anchor positive energies into the earth. Into yourself first. And then into the earth. And then lift the whole planet up as we all band together in through these times and we're going to mitigate it and we're going to make these earth changes be a little less severe the more we get in tune with mother earth and and get back into harmony with the natural order of things we will change this and we will change the entire planet and we will manifest a heaven on earth and a beautiful new way of looking things a totally new era is about to dawn and it's going to be a magnificent era so we just have to get through the birth process as always please thumbs up to support the channel subscribe if you haven't share with as many people as you can let's wake up as many as we can this is our job this is our duty this is our purpose this is what we're here for we are here to light the way for others to help bring in a peaceful smoother easier transition into a time period that will be one of peace and love and just abundant happiness my friends so as always take care and i look forward to your comments much love much light and much much peace to you all blessings